What is going on internet? My name is Lou and I make Linux videos and I put them on the internet. So I just finished cleaning my, my desk area here and I'm feeling uh, really productive for some odd reason. Anytime I clean my desk, uh, I tend to feel productive. I don't know. Weird. But um, I figured I'd make a video. I've seen a lot of what's in my doc uh, videos and I've gotten a lot of questions about um, you know, new users to Linux. And in fact, I, I had a help video that um, I was basically asking, you know, if you guys could help me um, with some video ideas. And some of the, the some of the uh, responses were, you know, can you give us some examples of um, programs in Linux that'll help us get, you know, certain jobs done um, on other operating systems like Windows or Mac OS and so on. So I figure like I, I would do maybe a combo video, kind of a what's in my doc and some of the applications that I normally install to get my day-to-day uh, -day work done. So first and foremost, let's take a look at some of the things in my doc. What I keep down here varies, honestly, from time to time. So, you know, as of right now, of course, I'm using... Um, I've got files. This is the file manager in elementary OS. And you know what? At the t I might as well get a few things out of the way because I'm sure I'm going to be asked. Um, the distro I'm using is elementary OS Luna. It's beta 1. It's uh, a distro based on Ubuntu 12.04 um, by the elementary uh, OS team. has a lot of custom applications. Um, the shell that you see running here, this is known as Pantheon. It's their custom excuse me, desktop environment. So that's the operating system I'm using right now. Um, what you see down here in the bottom right corner is uh, libav, which I'm using to capture my screen. And uh, I'm using guvc view right here to um, display myself uh, through my HD web camera. So that's it. Um, my wallpaper, if anybody actually likes it, uh, this is basically um, the car I have except for uh, I have different rims so um, I like it but if you're interested I'll include a link to download this as well as a link to the script I'm using to uh, record my screencast here in the video description below so now that we have the commonly uh, asked questions out of the way let's get into it so down here this is the file manager in elementary OS really really nice you can change all sorts of uh, you know custom views here. Um, it's a it's a decent file manager. Still crashes here and there from time to time, um, but you know all in all pretty good. System settings. This is Elementary OS's uh, system settings panel. You can go in and change you know all sorts of things. For instance, this is your desktop settings. You've got your hot corners here. As you can see, I can you know change the hot corners. Uh, to expose all the windows, your workspace, um, you can change it to do all sorts of stuff. Show current applications, a window, a window overview, execute a, a special command, change your wallpaper, some doc settings, all that good stuff. So that's system settings. Um, of course we've got the terminal which I use constantly. Um, empathy, this is what I use for chat. Um, for anybody that wants to add me on um, gtalk you can do so at redemptionrom at gmail.com that is what I use to interact with a lot of you guys especially those who are in the Android community so uh, that's that I use empathy it also comes with elementary I have got the latest steam uh, client running here um, here's some of the games I've previously purchased on steam of course I got counter-strike source uh, Day of Defeat Source. I was a huge Half-Life 2 fan. I've got Half-Life 2, Half-Life 2 Deathmatch, Episode 1, Lost Coast. I'm not sure what this whole War of Roses thing is. I don't remember uh, installing that, but that was years ago. This is probably, what, 10 years ago when I used Windows. Um, but now that it's running on Linux, I figured I'd give it a, give it a whirl, and I think I'm going to uh, install uh, some Counter-Strike Source and give that a give that a go and I'll probably do a video on that. So I've got Steam going. We've got uh, Oracle's VirtualBox. Of course this is a virtualization software so if I want to test out uh, distros I can do so in here. 
even though I get a bunch of uh, hating trolls on YouTube that say it's uh, a really poor way to, to test a distro, which I'll give them that, you know. There is some weird quirks and bugs you can get when you have a virtual box install versus a native hardware install. But uh, this also, say for instance I had a Windows only piece of software, I absolutely positively could not find an alternative. You can always do a Windows installation rather than dual boot and get what you need to get done virtually. Um, so that's that. OpenShot, this is the video editor that I normally use. Very, very simple video editor. Um, you know, it, uh, it gets the job done. And it's what I use to edit a lot of my YouTube videos. Again, I don't I don't really do a lot of heavy video editing, but when I do, I use OpenShot. Uh, noise, this is the default elementary OS um, media player. It's really, really nice looking, and they finally got a lot of the crashes worked out. VLC, uh, really, depending on whatever platform you're on, whether it be Windows, uh, Mac OS 10 or Linux VLC is a go-to media player, um, whether it's audio or video. Um, I usually watch DVDs inside uh, VLC uh, right now. I, uh, I'm a huge Underworld fan, and I've got uh, Rise of the Lycans here, uh, you know, watching the DVD in Ubuntu. Can't show too much of it because... Uh, Otherwise, I, I, I get my hand slapped, get in trouble there. Uh, Handbrake. Handbrake is a really awesome program. Um, you can do all sorts of stuff uh, with Handbrake relating to video files, um, converting them to run on all sorts of different devices, whether it be an iPhone, an iPod, Apple TV, an Android um, device, and so on. So that's Handbrake. Use that quite a bit. GIMP. Um, GIMP is an awesome open source multi-platform um, image manipulation program. Um, fantastic. Those of you who are Photoshop fans, I would say this is definitely no replacement for Photoshop because Photoshop is just, it's an amazing uh, program. But for most of what anybody is going to need, unless you're a, a you know a professional, and even so, a lot of professional photographers actually still use um, GIMP. But this will get the job done for a lot of your uh, photo editing needs. Um, and some of these programs too are not just alternatives; they're multi-platform. For instance, you know GIMP is multi-platform, Handbrake is multi-platform, VLC is multi-platform, Oracle uh, VirtualBox is multi-platform, of course Steam now is multi-platform. Uh, Chromium. Chromium is my web browser of choice. Um, I just prefer Chromium to anything else, really. Um, I like Midori, which is Elementary OS's uh, their own browser. It's a really nice browser, and I enjoy it. It's very quick. However, it sucks for Flash support. Um, just Flash does not play well with this, and. Um, you know, I don't like the layout for certain things on here, but it's a it's a good web browser. I don't I don't mind it terribly. Um, LibreOffice. Right now in the dock here, I've got Libre Writer. So you know, this would be comparable to something like um, Pages in OS 10 or Microsoft Word. Uh, I use this for all sorts of things. I, I often take uh, do some work from home, and you know, um, LibreOffice is. Um, you know, you can save and edit documents in Microsoft Word format um, very easily. And LibreOffice is a whole suite. So, you know, if, if you open up uh, kind of the generic, uh, the generic app here, of course, you've got a spreadsheet, which is very much like Excel. Or um, I'm not sure what the OS X one is. I, I'm forgetting what the name of the, the OS X one uh, uh, kind of spreadsheet um, I think it's maybe numbers. Um, then, of course, you got presentation, which is like PowerPoint, drawing, a database, a formula, of course, text documents, and so on. I already talked about GUVC view. I keep a screen, the screenshot application in here because occasionally I do take screenshots. Of course, you've got your Ubuntu Software Center. Uh, I'm more of a terminal kind of guy. I like to install things via terminal. However, if you like a, a GUI application, um, to install programs, um, you can use the, the software center. 
And now to go into some of my other programs that may not be here in uh, in my doc. You've got Geary Mail. That's an elementary specific mail client similar to Outlook. Um, Gparted. Gparted is a really nice um, really nice way to manage partitions and hard drives. I really suggest having the a Gparted Live disk. I keep one um, just in case you need to format a drive if an OS uh, fails or so on and so forth. It's always nice to have a nice uh, Gparted Live disk, which I do have. Maya is a calendar application, elementary OS specific. Meld, this is a graphical diff viewer. A lot of times when I'm working with Android, you get a diff uh, certain things, and I like to use this. It's a graphical diff. Really like that. Um, Minitube. Minitube is nice. You can um, view YouTube videos without having to use a web browser. And if they're non copyrighted, it actually gives you an option to download them as well. Let's see here. Movie player. This is the no movie player. Um, pretty standard. Uh, let's see here. Scratch. Scratch is the uh, elementary OS um, f uh, text. It, it's similar to Gedit. Um, so that's Scratch. It's not too bad. It's a decent text editor. Uh, what else do we have here? Screen key. All right. So screen key is what I use to display keystrokes on the screen. So that's what I use to display those. Now, screen key um, doesn't integrate inside uh, inside elementary very well. So to stop screen key, I have to open a terminal and hit kill all screen key. Um, so that's screen key there. Let's see, Shotwell. Shotwell comes default uh, with elementary OS. And it is the uh, basically a file uh, photo manager. Let's see, simple scan. Of course, that's for scanning documents. Sound converter. This is for converting um, different uh, audio files uh, to different formats. Comes in handy pretty nicely. Uh, system profiler and benchmark. I use this to run certain benchmark tests on my system. It also um, can be used to kind of let you know a lot of the you know hardware um, as well as um, say uh, kernel modules that are running for your specific systems. Pretty nice. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I already talked about screenshot. Uh, Transmission's a BitTorrent client. Trimage is a image compressor. I use this a lot when working with Android. If you want to compress the images and shrink them down to optimize them, uh, I use Trimage, which is pretty good. Blender is a, a 3D uh, modeling, animation, rendering, post-production. Just to kind of rip off the uh, <laughs> rip off the little description there. Um, it's really good for 3D work. Uh, Brazero, it's a disk burning software. Uh, Audacity, Audacity again is a multi-platform application. Um, you can record audio. Um, you know, I don't use this to record any audio, but if you want to record audio off of a microphone, use it to mix some tracks, that sort of thing. Simple stuff. Audacity is very good. Arista Transcoder, you can use this to take a video and transcode it to work on a host of different devices. So that's a pretty good application as well. Easy tag. Uh, I use this to um, modify ID tags, ID3 tags for audio files. If I want to add title, artist, that sort of thing, genre, and save them. So this is a nice uh, program for doing that. FileZilla. This is um, you know a program. So. It'll allow you to, you know, upload and download files, FTP, FTPS, SFTP. Um, I do this when I work on a ROM. Um, if, I've, if I uh, upload it to the hosting site uh, or I want to download something, I use FileZilla. Um, of course, we got a document viewer here. And Dropbox. I do have a Dropbox account. And Firewall. This is a basic firewall application that I usually use um, anytime I uh, install um, NEOS, of 
course, it's good to have a firewall, and that's what I use for that. And that's about it right now. This is a fairly new installation for me, so I don't have everything that I normally. And this is the majority of what I, I usually run uh, for applications. There's a few here or there um, that are missing. I usually run Skype as well. I use Skype to talk to family back home. Um, that I haven't got around to installing Skype yet. Um, but that's pretty much it. So these are some of my commonly used applications. Um, honestly, what you see installed here is going to really be all that the normal, average, everyday um, PC user is going to need to get work done um, and to just be productive in general. You know, I found that these applications have been all I've needed, and I'm a power user um, for years, and they've gotten me by. So <clears throat> there's a lot of great open source software available on the Linux platform. It's only getting better, um, and I'm really looking forward to see where certain projects like elementary is going. Ubuntu is doing a lot of um, kind of neat things. So I think Linux and of course, you know, I think Android is playing a huge part in um, making Linux more and more popular. Uh, I'm interested to see where the platform's going and, and the more popular it gets, the more steam uh, that gets, you know, built behind it. I think Ubuntu is doing a good job of, of really building a lot of steam and getting Linux out there. Um, I'm interested to see where it goes. I think there will be a lot more very talented um, software developers that are going to want to develop for Linux. Um, but, you know, there's everything that I need for my day-to-day -day use in a Linux environment as a power user. Um, and I'm, I've been very happy and I feel very at home. So hopefully this video got, uh, helps some of you guys, maybe introduce you to uh, an application that you didn't know about before. But as always, I really appreciate all the support. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And until next time, we'll see you guys later. Thanks. Bye.